Hey folks, Randy Newberg here. We are at the world headquarters. Can I say world headquarters? Yes. What? Oh, Galactic cool. head, yep. universe, Visitor Center. whatever. It's got a lot of names. <clears throat> this is the place if you're a mountain hunter. We're at Canatrack Boots and they just built this beautiful, amazing showroom, facility, visitor center. Wyatt is the marketing manager here and the proud holder of the Montana Bison tag. That's right. And man of many languages, world mm, oh traveler. Yeah. No. Yep. I, I failed the interview. I took second place for the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> what are you going to do? No, not at all. Uh, anyhow, at I all. come out here a lot and I always have questions. And I end up talking to Wyatt or Jim, the owner. Uh, and I thought, well, if I have these questions, the odds are our viewers have the same questions. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about total foot care and boot care because they're, they're one and the same. You, you can't have one without nope. the other. Nope. When we start talking about foot care and boot care, it starts from the inside. What's next to your foot? Mm -hmm. Socks, liners and socks. And then we're going to go into actual boots, boot selection, what type of boot you want for whatever purpose. It looks like you have no shortage of special Yeah, we gotta, special we gotta have a couple options. So. <laughs> no matter then, where in the world you're going, we can get you set up. Yeah, yeah. and then we're go from there, we're gonna go into how to take care of your boots. And then we're gonna get into just a few little things that for me anyhow, as I come out here and I talk to you guys, I, I, I brought, just before we get, you were looking at this, you're like, Randy, I think this was the first <laughs> run ever. This pair of Mountain Extreme 400s is vintage 2006 or seven. Probably, yeah. We're gonna put it in the museum pretty soon. <laughs> but I still wear them. And through proper care, and by having a qualified person size me for them and fit them, they've lasted me now 11 years and I don't know how many miles. Yeah. Hundreds, if not a thousand miles. So. Anyhow, that's what we're going to do, folks, and hopefully you'll find this worthwhile and interesting. I'm going to ask the questions because Wyatt's the expert, and he's modest. He's acting like, oh, I don't want to be the <laughs> expert, but really he is. And the first thing we're going to start with is the whole sock. It's what's next to, what is next to your skin. It's what's between you and the boot. It's a big part of whether your feet are going to stay dry how you're going to handle heat, friction, mm -hmm. everything that All comes with it. So you guys kind of have a sock system. Is it fair Correct. to call it a system? Yep. Yeah, we recommend a two sock system. Um, so you see them here, a liner sock and then a mid-weight sock. So the main reason that we recommend the two sock system is to cut down on that friction. It just adds one more layer mm -hmm. um, in between your, your main sock and the back of your boot. Right, because um, a lot of times walking downhill, even though you've got everything yep. taken into account from mm -hmm. a, a boot design standpoint you still right at, above the the heel there you you have flex in your right. boot i don't care what boot it is right. you're going to have flex right. so this takes and allows the sock and the liner yeah so the sock and the liner are rubbing against each other rather, rather than, than skin rubbing against exactly. something friction i'd say is well it, it is the number one cause of mm -hmm. blisters Yep. And if you're going on a multi-day hunt and you start getting hot spots yep. and blisters, hunting is not going to be much fun. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to be able to do that much of it. No, you're, you're going to return it back to the truck before you get to the spot. Right. And uh, it's hard to kill elk when you can't get off the road. And then you can change this sock out depending on weather conditions, what type of hunt you're going to be on. Um, it's really quite versatile. Uh, but the really, the base part of it is the liner sock. And that helps moist uh, or wick moisture away. It helps keep odor control down. And then it reduces friction between the back of the boot and your heel. And we've done videos about how I keep my feet warm. Hmm. One of the things, this liner here is a great way for people to have that liner that's taking that moisture away from the surface. And this is a... Is this some sort of synthetic fabric? It's 100% synthetic, yeah. Okay. And that just helps keep the shape. Okay. And then you put that next to the actual sock. The sock is a merino. Merino blend. Okay. I end up using both. And uh, I always carry two liners with me. Mm -hmm. 
on backpack hunts, on whatever, and every day I'm swapping out the liner. Right. And some days I can use the same merino wool sock mm -hmm. multiple days in a row if I use the liner. Yeah. Merino is naturally odor resistant, um, whereas a synthetic, you'll want to bring a couple extras of those for a long hunt. Um, right. You can get away with a pair of merino socks for two, three days yeah, easy. or longer, depending on uh, who you're hunting with. Yeah. <laughs> if you're hunting solo, you could go all week. But if you got buddies, you might want to uh, do them a favor and swap them out. Well, I don't share a tent with anybody. Oh, I carry my own tent, smart. so I could use merino for a month. Yep. And, uh, but the whole idea of a sock system is there's different lengths of socks. Mm -hmm. There's different thickness of socks. Yep. But the, your socks, the, the actual sock itself, you know, a lot of them are, might be similar in weight, but they're different in length. Correct. Yep. And so that, that really comes down to personal preference. I mean, some people like a tall sock that goes up over their calf. Yep. Some people like one that's more mid height. Um, the nice part about the, the tall socks is they have the shin padding in the front and it kind of, it, it definitely is noticeable when you, when you wear them. It um, is for me, especially when I'm going uphill or down. Exactly. When you're, when your shins are rubbing up against the top of your boot, this just provides a little extra padding. Yep. And then the same with a really heavyweight sock. Mm -hmm. um, if you wear a, the, this Alaskan sock, you're, at least if you're me, your feet are going to be very hot. Yeah, same here. Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm thinking this must be like polar bear hunting or something. <laughs> right, maybe bison hunting. <laughs> bison hunting, yep. ice fishing. Yep, um, right. or just, I mean, there's plenty of people out there who have cold feet, Right. Um, and so it's perfect for them. And because I do a lot of elk hunting, 90% of the time I'm using this over the calf length, mid-weight sock. I need something that we're hiking a lot, getting lathered up on our way there. But then we're gonna stand around and we're gonna be glassing right. for hours and hours. And sometime in November, it's 10 degrees out. A lot of times I will bring a second pair. Mm -hmm. I'll take this pair off just because I wanna get that moisture away from my skin as fast as possible and I'll put a, a new dry pair on and it's like all of a sudden I put my feet up next to a fire. Mm -hmm. So what we have here folks, we, we've just talked about socks, the importance of socks for, for moisture control, for heat slash friction, and just fit and comfort. So now that we've talked about socks, in the next video, we're gonna get into the real details of boots, boot fit, boot care, boot selection. And this is where you're going to tell me, fun. Randy, this is why we steer you this direction. Yep. Exactly. Thanks for watching, folks. Stay Thanks. tuned for the next one.